Hi, I'm Carrie from Carrie Creates. Today I will be making a very simple but elegant card. If you enjoy watching my video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content from my channel. And this is the card that we'll make today. These are the supplies I'll be using to make the card. Now I have my card base, which is five by seven. And I've cut a black top layer to go on top of that, which is four by seven eighths by six by seven eighths. So now I want to cut my top layer, which I'm going to do my image on, my stamping on. So I need to go an eighth of an inch smaller again to get a nice matted layered effect. So I'll be cutting this four by six eighths by six by six eighths. Just go ahead with that there. That's four by six eighths. By six by six eighths. should mat and layer very nicely. It's worth the effort I think because it gives the final finish of the card more professional look. So next we're going to use our top layer because that's where we're going to do all the nice fancy stuff. We're going to be using our Distress Oxide inks and um, this Tim Holtz Tim Holtz, sorry, Distress Oxides, and we're going to just do the base on the card with that. Quite easy and simple. Gives a lovely, the oxides give a lovely chalky effect. So we just start with a bit of light pressure there in the middle. Just work your way out. Don't press too hard or you end up with a bit of a mess. And if you want to, you can always just tap off a piece on a piece of paper to get rid of the very first piece because that's usually the strongest. It's better to build it gradually rather than putting a big lump down to begin with that you just can't blend out. But I think these oxides are quite easy to work with and I find them that they blend lovely. So that's the middle. And you just work your way out to the outside. Apply lighter pressure just to blend the edges and get that nice dreamy kind of effect. They really are gorgeous. So there we go. Now we're going to have to leave this dry completely before we stamp our image over it. Otherwise, it just, the ink will pick up with the stamping. And how do I know that? Because <laughs> I guess like most of us crafters, I've made plenty of mistakes and that's how you learn. Now I could dry it with my heat gun, but personally, I'd rather just leave it dry because sometimes I find the heat gun can cause a bit of warping on the cardstock. And it just, it's not nice when you go to mat and layer it. It won't sit properly on the page. So if you're not in a hurry, which I'm not, I just leave it for a few minutes to dry. Once it's dry, you can work away with it. So I'll go and get a cup of coffee while it's drying. 
Okay, I'm going to use my stamping platform to stamp my image. And this is the fun part, I always think. So we're going to place down the cardstock into the left corner. Press it in to make sure it's in properly. Just use these magnets to keep it in place. And I'm going to use this lovely Lavinia Stamps. Turn the wrong way, of course. Just going to see where I want to put it. Yeah, possibly there. So I'll put my stamp down. Got this other little flyaway piece that I'm just going to put up there. Then I'm going to pick up my stamp. There we go. Now hopefully that's dry. Appears to be dry anyway. So for the stamp for stamping the image, I'm going to use the Versafine Clear. Love the crisp image that this ink always gives. It's a favourite of mine. So the good thing about the stamping platform is if you don't get the image clear the first time. Your card base is going nowhere, so you can re-stamp it until you get it exactly the way you want it. So just apply a bit of pressure. It's almost perfect, except for this little piece here. As you can see, it didn't. It did, the ink didn't come off there, so we can redo that. Miracle of the stamping platform, I always say. There we go. That's perfect. Love these Lavinia stamps. They're just gorgeous. So pretty. Mm, I'll wipe the ink off of that. And next I want to put in a sentiment. So the little sentiment I'm going to use today because I need a birthday card. It's a friend's birthday coming up shortly, so we'll place that down. Just as happy birthday. Make sure you get it even. That looks fine. Pick it up. So again, I'm going to use my Nocturne. And the thing I tend to do different with the sentiment stamps is I find if you squash down too hard that the image gets distorted. So I just like to leave it there for a few moments to let it really, let the ink, I guess, soak in. Apply some pressure, but don't go overboard. And then hopefully when we pick it up, we get that beautiful, sharp, crisp image, which I think is just gorgeous. So we can remove that now. And bring back in our other layers. So I'm going to use a bit of double sided tape now and I'm going to stick them down. in the middle. Ink 
get my pokey tool there somewhere. There's one there. Remove that back in. And let's put our first layer down. So it's always easier if you stand over the card, I find, so that you get the positioning in the right place. Which I didn't really do. Let's see. We can have a second take on that. the other way actually well there we go that end piece, end piece doesn't really matter because we're putting the other layer over it anyway Oh, the next we're going to put the tape onto the back of the top layer. And again, piece in the middle. It's great to have an easy card like this that you can put together quickly. So we'll try and get our positioning correct on this now as well. Yeah, that looks fine. Use the dog barking in the background. Postman must be around. And there we go. Yeah, quite happy with that. As you can see, quite simple, but very effective. And I think it's really lovely. Yeah, very pleased with that. If you've enjoyed watching, please hit the like button. And to see more from Carrie Creates, please subscribe. Thank you for tuning in.